In Altair Monarch Data Prep Studio, once you have prepped, blended, and transformed your data, you may export your work to different formats for reporting and visualization. The data sources in this workspace have been prepped and joined into this table, which currently has summaries, filters, and sorts. Let's say we want to export the summaries created for this table. To do that, click on Export, and then the plus sign next to the table to be exported. For tables that have summaries, you first specify whether you want to export the table or a summary. Hover over Table to see the different formats and platforms you can export the table to, such as Excel, CSV, Altair Knowledge Studio, Altair Panopticon, and so on. Summaries may only be exported to Excel or CSV. Let's export our summaries to an Excel file. Data Prep Studio gives a default location and file name along with a table name within the file. Next, we have the filters and summaries for the chosen table. You can apply a measure if the chosen summary has a column key. In this workspace, the summary having a column key is sales by manufacturer with the country as the column key. When we set the summary to sales by manufacturer, we can set a specific measure or choose all measures, all by key, or all by measure. Over here we have options for automatic naming by files or by tables, depending on what we set for our filter, summary, measure, and whether we want to apply a split. If we choose all summaries by tables, Data Prep Studio informs us that table names will be based on the summary names. If we choose by files, the export location is now just for a folder without a file name, and the table name may be updated. We can also specify the drill level and sort. These are the sorts created in the Analyze window. Finally, we can choose whether or not to include column headers, as well as set what we want to happen when a file or table exists. There are options to overwrite, append, or skip. Now let's export all the summaries defined for this table. We will be exporting to this file and have the tab names of the Excel file follow the names of the summaries. Go ahead and click Export. Once the export is completed, we can immediately access the file to check on our results. Here we see that each summary was exported to a sheet and the sheet names follow the names of the summaries. Now let's export the table to this same Excel file. Let's copy the export location from the first export. Rename the export, as well as the table. This time when the file exists, we want to append to the file and override the table if it exists. When we open the spreadsheet, we have the tabs for the summaries we exported earlier and now another tab for the table. We can export to a CSV file in a similar manner. Adjust the file name a bit, retain the default settings for the filter and sort, include column headers, use a comma as the delimiter, double quotes as the text qualifier, and so on. Click Export and here we have our CSV file. The column headers are available in the first line and we have the values separated by commas with text values enclosed in double quotes.